January 12, 2000, 2000. In other words, 2020. Yep, today's the day. A Sunday. Rabbit stew day. And Bones is here to get it going on. Mmm, rabbit stew. Mm, I'm looking forward to it. Hey, you tried something different. Bones here out of Manland. Brought him this here charcoal starter. Let him play with it. Ain't got no fire in it. <laughs> Step back so it don't look at look at that rabbit. It's like a the heavy as that lid is on this big old Dutch oven, cast iron, is gonna be like a crock pot. That means acting like a pressure cooker. Yeah. Look at them rabbits, they swimming in that there. Ooh. Them rabbits are swimming. Here we go. Pressure we got that. cooker. We got that. That steam engine going, man. Ooh. Right. Rabbit right. power. Yeah, power of the rabbit. <laughs> the Diddy Bushcrafting two-stroke cast iron Dutch oven. After two hours. Let's see. Oh man, that water has done its thing. There's the camp, camp made chef stand there. Yeah, we we got that for me. Is the is it starting to tenderize? A wee bit. It's hard to yeah, tell with that yeah, thing yeah, of steam yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and take some forks and rake the meat off. So you, I get this other ingredients going. You finna rake, rake rabbit. The Rake the meat off the rake the meat off. Mmm, even a rake bug. I'm going with potatoes, which I ain't got out here. Some mixed veg. I just brought this just in case. Oh. But I was going to go with the cream of mushroom. Ooh, yeah, yeah. With yeah. a little rotel uh -huh. and some sweet whole kernel coat. Yeah, what you going to do with them uh, elbow macaroni? Throw them in there too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I may throw that in there. Well, why not? If we got room in there, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> they even got some saltine crackers upside down over there. Yep, crackers taste so much better when they're upside down. Mm. It, 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 it keeps that salt from falling off. No diggity. No doubt. Oh, you too close. <laughs> Zoom in. There we go. Nah. That's Chef Bones RD style. Now, me and Bones is discussing whether or not to keep the rabbit bra or to change it out completely. So, Bone, get your taste test. Uh, <laughs> I used to eat it all the time. Now, there ain't no seasoning in it. Just Bone a said salt. just a little salty because he brined the rabbit in salt twice, then froze it in salt water. Mm hmm. You think we need to keep the flavor or just. Uh, I'll put it this way. When you dip plastic over in there and chase it off that. Uh huh. It's a big difference between using plastic and bamboo. Really? I know bamboo has a flavor. <laughs> it does. Yeah. You may not be getting a true flavor. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with the broth. All right. Well, hold, on, hold on. Let me let me let me do a little taste test too. It, it, it don't hold much liquid though. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's see. <laughs> That's nasty. Yeah. That's nasty. It's kind of nasty. It ain't bad, but it's kind of nasty. Big difference. That's good. See, big difference. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Don't have me. That's what I be stirring it with. What this stuff be sitting in, man? That's it's what like I mean. it came out of a to toilet somewhere. Oh. Uh. That's, That's it, Dism. I'm coming to join you, honey. My. My junk fell off his trunk. This. We may just get a piece of bamboo to throw in there. Hold on, man. It can't. Yeah, I'm serious. I'm, I'm serious. I'm going to get a regular old spoon and try right. this. Let me hit that pause button. Hey, stainless steel spoon at the kitchen. Do not cook with these damn things. Look, he's even got a, a, a bubble in it. 
if somebody been scrubbing the toilet with this damn thing, because that is nasty, but this is good. Try it, mama. Yeah. No diggity, no doubt. I, I ain't, I ain't never understood that. That don't, that don't make no sense. It's just something about plastic. ABS plastic, I guess. Yeah, I like the bra. I think we keep the bra. I'm keeping the bra. And ditch the damn plastic spoon. But that's the only thing I found to stir it with. Yeah, I know, but you know, I'm just that. That's nasty. I know. It, it, uh, maybe that's why we be cooking already had that little tainted flavor. <laughs> uh. We'll do it that way. I gotta go pick the meat. Oh man, you gotta. I can keep it in there and let it boil and boil and finally disintegrate. Bon, bon. But I ain't got all day. That's true, but you got you got to cackle like a witch, man. This is looking cool. Lucky cooking over a cauldron. Huh? Cauldron. <laughs> oh. Bubble, bubble, boil in trouble, I guess. Cauldron hot. And you ever seen that? Bugs Bunny. Uh, well, he was getting cooked in the stew. Yeah. Hot and pepper. <laughs> Pass and pepper. <laughs> Pass and pepper. Yeah. Mm. We'll be right back. After I Bone steams his face some more. <laughs> Yo, Bone's done had some of that there elbow macaroni. And uh, my job is to sit here and stir. You know, keep it from sticking. Yeah, even good cast iron sometimes will have stick when it comes to elbows. Elbows like to stick. Mm -hmm. So we're going to keep it stirred. That rabbit broth is good. When them noodles in there, now it's time to add some of the bone jars potatoes. <laughs> Get them puppies around there stirred around real good. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, bones. Man, that's a big ass tater, man. What's going on? He threw a potato chip in there. Right now we got noodles and taters in that there rabbit broth. We got some of them good num nums in there. Let me bring the camera up so you can see. Yes, sir. Uh, man alive, talking about jambalaya. Mm-hmm. But this ain't jambalaya, baby. This is gonna be some rabbit stew. And with all that starch in there, it's gonna be a thick rabbit stew. Yeah, look at them rabbit num-nums in there, man. Check them out. Some of that rabbit meat still floating around in there. Yeah. A whole lot of flour. Self riding. I'm a cornbread. What is this? Cornbread, it got a, it, it, it's a lie. And you want to talk about my potted stuff? It, it, it risen. Look, the spawn is disappearing. It's eating the spoon. It's self-baking. You don't have to even cook it. Yes, it's eating the spoon. <laughs> right, Dave. Look, 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 look. Look, it's alive. Watch, watch. Is it still liquefied? Or is it done? Right. It's coming to get me. It's coming to get me. It's the blob. Give it a stir. You can get to the spoon. Uh-oh, it fell. Yeah, it'll deflate. Oh, my souffle fell. Oh, my goodness. It fell. That right there is our um, uh, mayonnaise and buttermilk blend with uh, regular cornmeal and flour. That's why I brought cracker. <laughs> what you want me to make cornbread for then? See you have both. <laughs> now what are you going to do with it? Let it rise a little bit more. <laughs> but, oh, that's just because you don't want to fool with it. You I'm getting ready to put it on. The pan's almost ready. <laughs> you are so slow. <laughs> hey! Cornbread's gonna be done well before he gets his rap. I'm gonna done. buy you some damn focus medicine, give you a pill every day in your drink. Okay. <laughs> Let's check this thing over here. Where's my stick at? Is it there even it gonna pour out? Where's my stick? I don't know, man. It might be like cement. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's take a look at this here. Preheated dust oven. Dang gum, Mark. I do need a focus peel. Here we go. Ah, uh, oh yeah, she's a heating up mighty good. Yes, indeed, and golly gee, we got some Rotel going in there. If I get the thing open, there we okay. go. The whole can, juice not now. drained. This has got the juice. 
and try to get all that goodness in there. As Bill Gaddy would say. Mm -hmm. Now, this is mix the vegetables. The broth has been drained. Yeah, you drain that. That's you right. got to because that's yeah. going to overpower everything in there. And now we got to get the num nums in there. Then we got the corn. It's sweet that, corn. That has been drained as well. Sweet corn. Oh. And there's a difference. Sweet. Now we got pop tops on here. We got cream of chicken and the mushrooms. You want both? Let's do both. I say both. Uh, uh, you may have to spoon this one out. Uh, we're gonna have to add some more liquid. Yeah, we're gonna need a little more. Look at that. Look like, look like poop coming out of a can. Yeah, there you Spinach. go. Spinach. Here, strain that now. Let me get this here. Can of mushroom going on. Green mushroom. Oh. What was that? That's a salt skin of mushroom, man. That's, now what is that? That's a big old mushroom. Now what the hell is that? A mushroom lung. A lung of mushroom. It'll melt. Throw it back in there. <laughs> there you go. Oh. A layer of... There ain't nothing left in there. I personally never used cream mushroom before. I have ate it. Somebody else is cooking. That's good, man. That's good. Now here. Operate the camera. Uh, Which don't even taste like mushroom. But it's just, I don't know. It's... Oh man. That looks so good as is. And I'm not using any tomato paste. No tomato paste. Okay. At all. Because yeah, I want to taste. That'd be a soup. <laughs> Bone found his his tater chip. No, tater. Yeah, tater yeah. chip. <laughs> yeah. Time to throw that rabbit in there, man. Mm-hmm. Here comes the rabbit. Chopped up and reformed. Rabbit goodness. No seasonings at all yet. We're going to debate on what kind of seasonings we want to put in. I bet it ain't gonna take much. Well, we, we definitely need more broth. All right, I'll go get you some water. Just regular water. We'll be right back. Okay, we got the cream of chicken and cream mushroom. That's actually thick enough for a stew right now. I know it. Mm. I cooked them taters. That's better than using a boat paddle. <laughs> we love it. And I don't know why it works so well. I mean, it's a it's a good stir stick. It ain't worth a darn when it comes to serving. Ooh, Ooh, now, now, now my camera's off. Hey, we in the fog. Yeah. Mmm. Man. Anything you want to add to it? Anything, anything else? I don't know if we got anything yet. Yeah, it really doesn't matter, man. It's enough. I think it looks fine as it is. Oh, yeah. Ain't put nothing in yet? Nope. We're trying to find out exactly Other what it than needs. Other soaking the meat in salt water two or three times to get the blood and stuff out of it. Yeah, the wild. That's it. You wasn't trying to get the wild, you'd get the blood out of that one. So, uh, grab, grab the fork. Oh, yeah. Uh, All right. I think that's warm enough. Well, I just did. It is heavy. Any, mini, mini, mo. <laughs> What's the red? Uh, Tomatoes? Uh, yeah, rotel. Rotel. Macaroni. But try the, try the meat. I know what you want. That was a piece of meat right there, white meat. Yeah, yeah dark I'm, meat. I'm gonna go this way. You like dark meat? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, oh. oh, she dumped it back in there. <laughs> yeah. Let me get. Now, yeah, Lisa's supposed to be an expert on wild game, y'all, because uh, she ate it a lot when she was younger. Coons, mm. squirrel, 
Yep. Don't shake it too much, you're getting all the semen off of it. <laughs> hey, you got a, a, a noodle. Alright, now now try the, like a, a noodle or something, or maybe on the taters. I had a noodle. Okay. The potatoes are going to taste like potatoes, yeah. regardless. It ain't sit long enough overnight, but I think, I, think, I think it's just black pepper. You put it in the bowl when you eat it. Yeah, you could be right, but uh, I'd put some crushed red pepper in it. Ah, see, I told you, you need a little heat. Yep, you need a little heat, bare bones. Mm -hmm. I like to cook it in there. Yeah. To it. yeah, let's let's fire it back up. Yeah. A little, little, add some heat to it. Throw that crushed red pepper in there and see what happens. We got crushed. Well, we got the pepper got flakes and we got uh, cayenne. Just a little bit. The powder. Yeah, just a bit. There we go. She's right. Mm -hmm. Some crushed red pepper and some garlic salt, not powder. Garlic salt. Yeah. I'll do it. Y'all right. don't know how to. All right, we we be saying she's gonna do it. Got yeah, this is plenty for this. This is plenty. It don't take but a pinch. Now I know to buy some more. Okay. And now the garlic salt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I say crank the heat up. That wasn't enough to do nothing. Yeah, you'd be surprised. Yeah, garlic sauce is pretty, pretty stout. You'd be surprised. Wait a minute, you use that fuck you just put in your mouth? Yeah, we've Hell been... yeah, you finna crank up the heat, it'll destroy whatever I didn't have. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna hit, crank it up and we'll be right back. You need the black pepper. We ain't got Do two. A little bit. Good. Told you need black pepper, man. I don't think you got none in it. It is too. I just filled it up the other day. It's just real fine. Hey, <laughs> Stand in the wind. <laughs> Make that rabbit sneeze. Hey, we gotta use that bamboo stir. What the? Come on, now. Yeah. The bamboo. That's right. That's what gives it. Ooh, it was laying on that dirty table. <laughs> Alright, the pepper's over here now. Alright, yeah, that's that's enough pepper. Mm -hmm. I smell it. Mm -hmm. See? <laughs> now let that stew a little bit. Now Try I it. smell black pepper. I do too. <laughs> well, it's not a lot. The cameraman just got a pepper attack and he loved black pepper, but the amount that's in there that what she just added was just a, what I've been putting in my bowl. Yeah. <laughs> Let's heat it up. Wee Wee, the official seasoner, has just seasoned the wabbit stew. So yeah. now if it tastes like crap, it's going to be Wee Wee's fault. Perfect. And un voila. Just like that, we'll have some cornbread. Mmm, time to come out. Uh, now I gotta figure out how to get that pan out that hot cast iron. It's time to give this little bowl a taste test. Bones is recording over yonder. We're recording right here. We collaborated our video efforts. And man, this thing is hot. I mean, look at the steam coming off that puppy. Ooh, imagine this was out there in the cold, 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 cold winter day in a campfire and, and uh, well, it almost was. It was. It was a chilly day today. There's some rabbit in there. Y'all seen the ingredient? It's so daggum good. But we we put the final touch of the seasonings on there. So here we go. Hot. <laughs> hot. That don't count. <laughs> I don't know what that tastes like. It just scorched my tongue. That's gonna ruin the taste. It's actually pretty daggum good. I mean, this is this is the best. Not only the best rabbit stew I've ever had. 
This is the best stew, period, I've ever had. That flavor of mushroom and cream of chicken in there, along with a rabbit, little tiny bit gamey. I mean, like a middle school amount. But let me give you this. Oh, little hot. All right. I say it's definitely manly approved, but we gotta let this thing cool off, rocking. Let's shoot bones. <laughs> yeah, let's shoot bones. Folks, I just discovered something. The cornbread I cooked was a little bit mushy. It wasn't dry. You know, it's kind of like, boy, it came out like a, a dressing. And now that we've added the stew to it, it tastes just like chicken and dressing with rabbit. This is excellent. It tastes almost like a, a cornbread pot pie. It's so creamy with the mushrooms and chicken creams in there. It's still hot. Mmm. Mmm. The flavors right now just explode in your mouth. Nothing is overpowering. It's not too sweet, not too salty, not too black peppery, not too much garlic. Cornbread is not overpowering. It is a very delicious meal. I think you can serve this at a school cafeteria and all the kids would actually come back to school because they would want more. That's what I feel. Yeah, my mouth water. Hurry up. Alright. <laughs> okay. I got I got me some cornbread mixed up in here. And I'm I'm usually a, a cracker man. But here we go. That is different, ain't it? Mm hmm Wow, that's good. Hmm. I can use more black pepper in it. Yeah, need a little more touch of black pepper. That actually is good. Mm. Yeah. You taste the sweetness? Yeah. Taste that little bit of salt? Well, a little bit of salt. Is yeah. The cornbread had a lot of salt flavor to it. That buttermilk mayonnaise cornbread. Mm -hmm. mm hmm I tell you what. I ain't complaining. Mm hmm That's a Chef Bonjard D, a Chef Manland, and a Chef Wee Wee. That's right. But I tell you Combo. what. If it wasn't for the fact that Chef Bonjard D didn't take them rabbits out, mm, we wouldn't have this opportunity to taste something this great. That rabbit meat is sweet, ain't it? It is. You must be eating some sugar cane. <laughs> Folks, we got to put an end into this here video. Because in my opinion, that there rabbit stew, woe kill rabbit stew, is two thumbs up. But there's something that baffles me in this particular meal. Now, I've not tried it yet like Bones had just tried it. And he said a total different flavor. I'm going to let him explain. Crackers. <coughs> I put crackers in it. Crackers or coffers? Crackers. <laughs> crackers. The crackers itself took away the sweetness. Hmm. So I'm thinking, either that, that's some bad crackers, <laughs> or man, man, you some jiffy. Ain't <laughs> you no jiffy. <laughs> that was cornmeal. Cornbread. To be honest, that right there was Martha White. Uh, Self-rising cornmeal and flour, two-thirds and one-third, that kind of combination. We had uh, buttermilk and mayonnaise because we didn't have no eggs, so I substituted. And that cornbread by itself, when I eat it alone, is very, very salty and buttermilk flavored. You put it with that rabbit stew, and for some reason the rabbit stew became extremely sweet. He says it ain't sweet with crackers. It ain't. So maybe there's some science going on there. Maybe there's some kind of chemical reaction between the cornbread and the stew that's chemically changing whatever the heck is in it. Could we be through some garlic salt in there? That's the only season in there. This is the only seasons. Garlic salt, some crushed red pepper, which wasn't a lot, and then black pepper. That's it. 
Nothing else added. Now the rabbit in its boiling state, Bone said he sat there and treated it with salt water twice, you said? Three times. Three times. But then you froze it in salt water. So when it was boiling to, you know, to tenderize the meat to make it fall off the bone, no seasoning added. I tried the rabbit. It had a rabbit, gave me flavor. But the rabbit meat itself was a little sweet. And you could taste a little salt in there too. This is what's confusing. That can of sweet corn. You eat the corn by itself, it ain't that dang sweet. But when you eat that corn bread. <laughs> yeah, 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 Reese. <laughs> Fella going by on a bicycle. I don't know if that was on camera or not. <laughs> Reese don't like bicycles. <laughs> Throw some chicken. <laughs> yeah. But for some reason, that cornbread mixture right there, it wasn't a bad sweetness. It was just like sweet. That's all I'm going to say. And that's what baffles me. I can't figure out this chemical reaction. Chemistry. Uh, one of my favorite subjects, but I don't remember much about it back in my high school day. Hmm. So what do you think about it, Bill? <laughs> it's good, but I rather, it's like eating fish. Like three different types of fish. It Like catfish, brim, and bass. Once you bite into one, it tastes better than the other, you ain't going to go back. Yeah. And that's the way it is with the cracker. I'm not going to go back with the cracker. I'm going to stick with the cornbread. <laughs> so, Bob's going to take him some rabbit stew back along with some cornbread. That's what it's going to be. And I'm really looking forward to actually taking some, putting it in the refrigerator, or either freezing it, and then trying it later on in another video. Oh, I really look forward to that. But right now, I think Chef Bone Jardine did a great <coughs> job there. No diggity, no doubt. It's so daggone good, he had to top it off with a dip of snuff. That's right. Till next time, y'all. This is Amateur Yards Mark D. Channel. Once again, from Man Land. And Bones out here in Man Land's yard. <laughs> World. Dead gun. Uh, wishing you and y'all a very happy YouTube experience out there. And remember this. Get outside and cook you something. It don't matter where you're at. Just have some fun. And hopefully it tastes good while you're at it. Eat roadkill. <laughs> That's the flavor. You had some sugar in the tires, man. It was the tire flavor. <laughs>